As for the worms, on my Consciousness of Worms video, I would say they have a little bit of a consciousness. They certainly have irritation, as Corey would say, you know, they it makes them come out of the earth and they're drowning. It makes them crawl back in the earth when they're getting dehydrated. So I would say they have that much of a consciousness. I know they have, all, I believe they have like a rudimentary brain or ganglion in the front, you know, where the senses come together and pilot the worm. My dad told me once that we're all just tubes. You know, it's, we're just more complicated worms, basically. What would it be like to think in a brain that responded immediately, remembered everything, no fuzziness, it's either there or it wasn't? Um, instant calculation ability, you know, you can do math and stuff that you could never do in your head. But now you can, now you can do it instantly. So I imagine uh, you'd have to go back to work. You'd, now you're a programmable machine with a brain, basically. And you could probably do your work with uh, some of the limbs attached to your Android or controlled by your Android, and uh, then go about and park that part of your brain, you know, and uh, go off and run the web, you know, or something else. Read a book. <laughs> while you do your work with the other part of your brain. You could multitask like no tomorrow, I'm sure. I need a little help getting my car out of the snow. Maybe a push or something. March 27th, mid-Michigan, the never-ending winter.